Understanding, giving up the ghost. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're exploring an intriguing phrase, giving up the ghost. Whether you've come across it in literature, movies, or everyday conversation, understanding its meaning and origins can greatly enhance your English comprehension. Let's get started. The phrase, giving up the ghost, is used to describe the act of surrendering or giving in, but it's most commonly associated with dying or the moment when something finally stops working or functioning. For example, when a person passes away, they are said to have given up the ghost. Similarly, when a machine or device ceases to operate, it too can be described as having given up the ghost. The origins of giving up the ghost can be traced back to biblical times. It appears in the Bible to describe the moment of death. The phrase has been used in English literature for centuries, conveying the finality of death or the cessation of life or functionality in objects. This historical context adds a layer of richness to its usage today, linking modern expressions to ancient traditions and texts. To fully grasp the phrase's usage, let's look at some examples. After a long illness, he finally gave up the ghost. Here, it clearly refers to someone dying. My old car finally gave up the ghost on the way to work. In this case, it's used humorously to indicate that the car has broken down irreparably. Understanding the context in which the phrase is used is key to comprehending its meaning and emotional connotations. Incorporating, giving up the ghost, into your vocabulary can add depth and variety to your English. It's a phrase that carries weight in history, making your language richer and more nuanced. However, because it can have a somber tone, it's important to use it appropriately, considering the sensitivity of situations involving death or loss. We hope this exploration of giving up the ghost has been enlightening. Phrases like these enrich our understanding of the English language, connecting us to its historical depth and cultural nuances. Keep practicing, and don't hesitate to use what you've learned today in your conversations and writing. Until next time, happy learning!